these guys will be walking the street. Two guys always in pairs. So, my mother said, you show him your hand. The guy looks at me and gives me a mocking smile and then he talks about everybody and you won't believe. This happened to me. I was seventeen years of age. I'm an out-and-out out atheist. Me entering a temple or worshipping or even doing this is not like this only. No, it doesn't matter if uh, even in the house, some festival, something, my parents are doing some worship, I will only stand like this. Not… never like this, not possible. <laughs> You're all much better than me, <laughs> that way. Without knowing anything, you do this easily. No, not me, only like this. <laughs> so, I'm in this condition. My mother is concerned uh, as to when my elder sister will get married. So, two guys come walking on the street from northern Karnataka. These guys will be walking the street with one bag under their armpit. Two guys always in pairs, they will be walking. So they were walking. So my mother said, call these guys. I want to know when your sister will get married. I said, what these… these guys are going to tell you? She said, no, you call. I call. Then they come in. Generally in India, women don't give their hand to these people because there have been instances where they will mesmerize these ladies and he will go away. By evening, this woman packs up all the jewels that he has at home and she goes away behind him, not knowing what she's doing. She'll just walk like she's lost her mind. And he takes away everything and she comes back after two days or three days and she's finished. So, my mother said, you show him your hand. <laughs> I'm like this, how do I show my hand? My sister wants to get married, <laughs> I have to show my hand. <laughs> A rubbish, I said, I'm not doing anything like that. Nobody else is at home, show your hand. I thought, okay, now I'm going to rip this guy apart. And I show my hand. Well, the guy looks at me and, you know, gives me a mocking smile. I just want to stare him down. I don't want to show any expression on my face and just in case he guesses something. I thought, okay, tell me what. And that guy starts saying things about the family, little, little things that happened day before yesterday. Nobody could know these things. He could tell you what you've eaten for breakfast today. That close, I'm saying, about everybody in the family. Then I'm looking, but still I don't want to believe all this. It's true, but okay, something, I don't like it. <laughs> Then he says many things. My mother keeps on asking all that is when… when will my daughter get married? He says, uh, leave that girl alone. The second girl will get married next May. Before twenty-sixth of May, she will get married. My brother says, you idiot, why are you talking about my second girl? When will my first girl get married? He says, oh, and he'll talk about something else. And then he talks about everybody, everybody. And you won't believe me. My elder sister never got married, she became a monk. And my second sister had no idea of getting married, she was still in the university. On twenty-fourth of May, she got married, okay, the next year. And uh, then my mother is asking about me, this boy doesn't believe in anything. He doesn't believe in God, he doesn't come to the temple. What will happen to this boy? And he says, at the age of thirty-eight, he will build a great temple. I say, bullshit, me building a temple <laughs> He 
you, <laughs> me going to build a temple? <laughs> I don't even enter the temple, where will I build a temple? My mother says, look at him the way he is, what will happen to him? What will he do? He says, uh, others will graze sheep, he will graze people. So, I'm a little kind of disturbed because this bugger knows things that I do not know. <laughs> then when things opened up within me, I wanted to kick myself because it was so obvious, it was hanging all around me, I couldn't see it. But this guy who walks the streets for ten rupees, ten rupees is what? Uh, ten rupees is twenty cents, okay? That's the fee for him. That too he won't ask. If you give him ten rupees, happily he will go. The guy who walks the street from morning to evening for ten rupees, that guy could see it and I couldn't see it. I felt so ashamed, oh my God, look at this. This is the level of unawareness, you understand? This is the fact with the, the whole you, humanity. This is the level of unawareness. What's hanging right here, you cannot see it. Some guy who's walking the street for ten rupees per day, he can see it. So, life is not the way you think, it's the way it is. Your effort should be to see it the way it is, not go on coming to conclusions. This is right, this is wrong, why not this, why not that? Just see it the way it is. Only if you see it the way it is, you will open the gateways of life and beyond.